if you create some directives like a country, a state, and a city, and you know there's a relationship between them, that hierarchical country, state, city relationship you'd expect, you can actually communicate between them using controllers. So if I set up a directive for my country, uh, one for my city, and one for my state, I can actually tell if I create a controller on my country, um, we'll say controller function, and then expose something like uh, make announcement. We'll take a message and we'll just say console log country says. We can actually, in the directive, the linking function of our city, um, we can inject the controller from the country into the linking function of our city. So we just say country controller. And the way that that gets linked up is you tell it to require a directive that exists above it. And that naming scheme uh, country has to match with the country up here. So at that point, we can say country controller uh, make announcement. Uh, country says this city rocks. And if I open up the console over here, I can just refresh and it'll say country says this city rocks, even though the city is two levels below the country. Uh, we can do the same thing for the state. I'm actually going to move the state up here uh, because that's how our hierarchy is in the HTML. And we can create a country in, or uh, sorry, a controller in our state as well. And say something like uh, make law and law console log. Uh, we'll say the law is whatever you pass in. And then we can also, we can switch that over to the state and say, instead of the country controller, uh, we can change this. The name doesn't really matter, but uh, we'll just say state controller, make law, uh, jump higher. That's a terrible spelling of higher. And if we refresh, you can see the city is telling the state to make a new law to jump higher. Now there's actually a feature here if we pass in an array and we say we need the country and the state. Um, this becomes an array of controllers where the second controller would be the, uh, you know, the, the order is here. So this is at zero. This is at one. So the controller here would be number, uh, so this is number one. And then zero would be uh, make announcement um, from city. And then you can see when I refresh, we have the city telling the country to make the announcement and the city telling the state to make the law. So this is typically for things like uh, you'd actually be pushing you know, data into an array or whatever to uh, add more to an ng repeat. Um, or things like that, rather than just logging out messages. But this was uh, this would also work between the state and the country because this the state is beneath the country, so you could require the country here. You could say require country, and then we could um, add a linking function, and then add the country controller, and then access anything there between the state and the country. And so that's how the controller communication between directives work. Um, it just requires the, the hierarchy so that it knows that um, one is always above the other.